Hi guys, Spartan765 here today. Um, today I'm doing a review, but it's not on a gun, a knife, or anything like that. Today I'm doing a review on some body armor. Um, you know, body armor is something good to pick up, you know, if uh, you know, if you're a prep or anything like that, or if you need it for work, or whatever. Me personally, my big uh, motivator to get it was I actually need it for work. Um, I work private armed security. So, naturally that's a big motivator to get it. It is, it is expensive. Um, it'll range anywhere from about 300 bucks on up to over 2,000. That's for obviously this shit that's 2,000. That's you get in your leg. That's almost whole body armor. But for vests, you're looking anywhere between 300 to about 1,000 easily. Um, this particular one was about uh, 750. This is a PCAA or Pro Protective Arm Corporation of America. Sorry, I didn't say the acronym that quite right. Um, carrier. This is a Mali carrier, thousand denier nylon Mali carrier. So it's not a you know grubby airsoft carrier or anything like that. It's the real deal. Um, the plates and or the uh, soft armor inside is le threat level three A, which means it's good up to a forty four magnum. Um, that's uh, Gulls Kevlar in there. Um, in this particular setup, I also have a couple of these Paraclete. Uh, plates in there. What these are is I think these are just some type of a high density polymer resin. Um, this is good up to, I mean this is a this is an exotic um, caliber uh, handgun plate. It's good for FN 5.7, 357 SIG, 40 Cal 9 millimeter. Those aren't exotic. But, uh, 762 by 25 is obviously on here. Um, the Norinco steel jacket stuff and 30 carbine. Um, this is also stab resistant, level 1 stab resistant. Now these are just the little guys, these little plates, these 5x7s. Um, the vest has an insert for these and it also has an insert that you can put in here for the full size, um, full torso plates. You know, this vest stand alone is only level 3A. You know, I shouldn't say only, that handles all handgun calibers pretty much, up to 44 mag. Um, this is not a rifle vest, but by getting plates, the uh, I think they're about 10 inches by 12 inches or something like that. They, there's another area to slide those in here. You could obviously, with adding the proper plates, make this a higher threat level. Uh, protect, protection from a higher threat level. All the way up to level 4, which is 30 odd 6 AP. That's just, that's a little excessive, but, uh, you know, I mean, I can't imagine the plates probably going to be about that thick and probably weigh about 8 pounds a piece. Um, but anyway, so as far as the weight goes on this thing, um, it's really not that bad. I'd say it's probably about, I don't know, six, seven pounds um, with both plates in it. Uh, it's really not that bad. I mean, I've been wearing this particular vest at work every day for the past, you know, four or five months, and it, uh, you get completely used to it. I mean, it, you can get, uh, as far as the crap you can get with it, you can get, you know, just different pouches, flashlight pouch, magazine pouch, cell phone pouch. I mean, that's the benefit of a Mali vest is the options are really endless. I also got some AR-15 mag pouches I could ever put on here if I wanted. Um, you know, obviously the nice thing about these vests is, you know, when, when you get a bulletproof vest, you know, whether you need it for work like I do or you're just looking to get one to get one, um, the nice thing about a bulletproof vest is it's, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Like when I say uh, preppers, for example. You know, no, I'm not talking about zombie apocalypse or any of that bullshit that's never going to happen. I'm talking about if there's a natural disaster, or another example, just recently with the Ferguson riots, I would say that would kind of be a shit hits the fan scenario. Um, it was localized, but still, that would be a good cause to have body armor because there was a lot of gunfire down there. Um, obviously, if you were protecting your own storefront or whatever, you'd probably want to have body armor along with your weapon. Um, but body armor, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, some preppers or even some firearms enthusiasts like me will, uh, will say, hey, you know, it's, it's something I'd, that'd be cool to have, but it's not something that's really a necessity. And that that kind of is true. You don't see a lot of guys out there just buying body armor to buy it because it is a big investment. Um, like I said, my motivator obviously was work. Um, basically, if I ever got shot at work, I'd rather have the body armor. I'd rather have spent the 750 bucks or whatever on the body armor than 
you know, get shot and possibly get killed or get shot and have $50,000 worth of medical bills. You know, so the body armor, I mean, if you really need it for, like, if you're a cop or um, private security or really anything uh, where your job allows you to wear body armor or kind of requires it, definitely a good thing to get. And this uh, Protective Armament Corporation carrier, it's also got agency, you know, you can Velcro agency plates. So if you uh, get it customized, you can have, you know, your agency's name on here, or your firm's name, or whatever it is that you're... Uh, you're working for or if you just get it you know just to have it you can probably order you know some little call sign or something on there I don't know but yeah um, these paraclete speed plates I think I paid 75 a piece for these uh, 70 75 again these are not the full body ones um, these are just designed to cover obviously your heart um, these will obviously reduce blunt force trauma as well if from being shot, um, one of the big disadvantages of just soft armor alone is the blunt force trauma. Um, obviously, if you get shot with just uh, soft armor, it could crack a rib, it could break a rib, it could cause minor internal bleeding. Um, it's not supposed to for what it's rated for. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm guessing if you got shot with, you know, a rifle round like a 7.62 by 39 or something. That soft armor would probably still stop the round, but it would uh, the depth of uh, blunt force trauma from that impact would probably be enough to cause internal bleeding or fractured ribs or something like that. That's why when these things are rated, they're rated for a certain depth of uh, blunt force trauma, and I believe it's seven centimeters. I want to say, or is it seven? No, it's not seven inches. It's seven centimeters. But we'll go ahead and look that up because I'm not 100% sure on the actual depth that's required to meet the uh, Institute of uh, Justice classifications. Um, but again, that's something to look up. Um, the whole classification process can be kind of confusing at first. But, you know, if you're going to buy body armor, it's good to know what you're buying. Don't just impulse buy something. Um, I would definitely not get anything under level 3A. I mean, they make level 1, level 2. I mean, you're looking at level 2, I mean, you're looking at 9 millimeter threats. Anything above that is it's not... I mean, for, for what I do, what I do, private security, a high-level handgun threat vest is fine for me. Obviously, when you get into level 3, level 4, um, you're looking at a lot thicker material. It's going to be heavier, a little bit less easy to move around in. And uh, let me tell you, from experience, wearing these vests when it's 80 degrees outside and you're moving around um, really isn't the most comfortable thing in the world. You will sweat your ass off in one of these things. Um, even when it's like 70, you know, all day, sweat all day. Um, that's another th important thing about these. If you get one, make sure you know how to keep it clean. Because if you uh, just sweating it and sweating it and sweating it after like three weeks of not caring for it properly, it's going to stink and it's going to get mildew in it. I wash my vest, my, my carrier anyway. You don't ever wash the, the, the uh, Kevlar inside there. You can wipe that down with a cloth, but you wash that in a washing machine you wreck it. Um, the, the carrier itself I just throw it in the washing machine once or twice a week depends on how much I sweat but it's always at least once a week you know keep the stink down but uh, yeah that's that um, like I said there's many attachments you can get for it uh, if you're just a prepper looking to get some body armor there's so many different websites out there that sell it um, if you're gonna buy body armor I'd recommend buying it uh, sooner than later because there's actually a senator in California, I was reading something about it, that's actually trying to propose a bill to ban civilian ownership of body armor. Really stupid. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, that don't even work in the security industry or whatever, or you're not a cop or whatever, that use body armor. Like, there's companies that make body armor inserts for backpacks for kids when they go to school. You know, that that's a big market um, for parents who are willing to spend that amount to get the... Uh, either soft armor or hard plates. Um, they actually make backpacks that are armored, which is a good thing, you know, for kids to have at school. It's definitely safer. Um, so obviously this body armor ban would ban anything like that. These, these anti-gun people and these anti-self-defense people, these losers that we have in Congress are just, and Senate, some of these senators are just crazy. Um, 
Thank God we have more good ones than bad ones because uh, more pro-gun legislation nationwide has been passed in the past five years really than ever before. There's also been a lot of anti-gun stuff, but in more states have gotten carry permits. More states have gotten less restrictive on so-called assault weapons. Some states have actually tightened it up, like New York, unfortunately, and uh, Colorado with their 10-round magazine capacity, which is BS. But I'll leave that for another video. I had to go over all that stuff because I got a lot of political questions I've gotten asked to. Um, but yeah, I'll just do another overview of this. Um, it's really nice armor. It's, uh, like I said, about five times already. If you uh, would want armor for your job or just to have it, I mean, go go get with, get the good stuff. Don't don't cheap out and buy the three hundred dollar, you know, level level one or level two. That's good up to nine millimeter. You know, because the bad guy. You may just have an 9mm, but he may have something else. You never know. Um, anyway, that's the review in the body armor. You guys got any comments, questions, feel free to send me a message at Spartan76.